Hello everyone. I hope all of you are having a fantastic day. I have some good news that I want to share with the more of the loyal, loyal Tifosis. Um, I know it's not like really a Ferrari news, but uh, it's really, it's really some interesting news and some good news for a very, very well-respected family among all Tifosis. For those who don't know yet, it's the Schumacher family, the son of Michael Schumacher, who those who don't know yet, his name is Mick Schumacher, and he was racing. Uh, he, he started his career off with Ferrari uh, Drivers Academy, and then he uh, joined Haas uh, as a full-time starter. Uh, basically, he had a seat at Haas, and things didn't end well for him with Gunther Steiner and Haas and Ferrari. So, uh, unfortunately, it was really sad uh, news for Ferrari fans, and but also me personally because I'm a, I just have tremendous respect for uh, the Schumacher family for everything Michael Schumacher has done for us, and you know I just just this same level of respect and love just translated in over to Mick uh, naturally. So I was really disappointed to see Schumacher leave uh, Ferrari. I was just really hoping that at least. Ferrari themselves could have kept him as a reserve driver um, but unfortunately that was not the case and he will you know he then he then ended up going um, you know getting us like basically a reserve driver role at uh, Mercedes which is pretty big because you know Mercedes is also a big big team you know it's not like uh, it's not like they're, they're they're sending him away to Williams or or uh you know other other uh, Mercedes teams, you know, because they all have their engines and they all have you know their their, their teams. Like for for example, Ferrari has um, three teams under them. They have you know Ferrari, then they have Alfa Romeo, and then I think they also have Haas, who is part of the Ferrari scheme project. Um, so I think I think with with Mercedes, I think it's. Uh, it's Mercedes, obviously. Then there's this McLaren, I think, if I'm not wrong. If, if I am wrong, I apologize. Um, but um, and then there, there's, there, there's also Williams. So um, now the, the the good news that I want to I want to share with you guys is uh, today McLaren has announced that Mick Schumacher will also be their reserve pilot. You know, he will be their reserve driver, which is a fantastic news. That just means more opportunities for Mr. Schumacher because, uh, you know, at the moment he, he doesn't have, he doesn't have uh, a starting seat. Obviously he will not be on the grid next year. He will not be competing full time. But, you know, what if, if it happens where uh, George Russell, Lewis Hamilton, um, now, now he, he's gonna be also gonna be a uh, reserve driver for McLaren. So then now it's Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri. So what what if one of them gets sick or unfortunately, you know, it happens where, you know, um, they, they can't compete or they can't race, they're, they're not fit enough, then here comes Mick Schumacher's chance to, to be in that seat and show what he can do, you know, it's all about opportunities and Mick Schumacher, you know, as a reserve driver, he needs to go and get every single opportunity he, he can get because obviously now he's not in that position where he's a starter, he's not a full-time uh, driver anymore like, like he was with Haas, so he needs to be getting opportunities, um, like any opportunities that he can grab, um, you know, so um, yes, uh, McLaren had, you know, have made deal like has made a deal with the you know Mercedes um so then Mercedes can also let uh Schumacher also uh back up uh Norris and Piastri as their uh, reserve driver which is it is fantastic news i mean i'm i'm really happy for for Schumacher with you know after this whole situation after like the whole disrespect that that Steiner and 
you know, has gave Schumacher, you know, like, it was just disgusting, it was just ugly, you know, like, Steiner did not let Schumacher do anything, he had no freedom, like, I know I understand that Schumacher crashed a lot, but come on, like, he's a rookie, you know, like, it's tough, you know, like, Formula One is a tough business, right? you know, like, you have so many, like, 20 of the best pilots in the world are driving for Formula One. So it's not easy for, for a young lad, you know, for a young rookie to just come in and perform right away. And that's the problem with Haas, you know, they want a pilot that just straight up uh, performs. And unfortunately, they, 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 they have, like, they just can't develop a young pilot, you know, unfortunately, they, they need somebody who is, who can give them a performance right away. And I understand, but, but the, but the way Steiner handled Schumacher's development is just gutting, you know, unfortunately, it's just, it's just frustrating as well, you know, every time that Haas made a mistake or, you know, even if Schumacher made a mistake, Steiner called, called up Schumacher in public like he bluntly said oh it's all schumacher's fault putting all the blame on schumacher and not once say oh like it's it's a team problem we will fix this in the future you know like all the blame was always shifted to schumacher many many on many many occasions you know so i'm just happy that that um, first of all, that Schumacher is getting opportunities that he will still be around Formula One, first of all. Second of all, I'm happy that he is going to a team which truly, truly appreciates him and respects him, you know. Um, I've seen like the whole interview of, of Toto Wolf and him talking about Schumacher and he, and I and I've heard nothing but good words from Toto Wolf and Toto Wolf is a mastermind. I have just nothing but respect for Mr. Toto Wolf. He's just, a great team principal and I just he's just in good hands like I'm just so happy for Schumacher I mean he's in fantastic hands with Mr. Wolf and they also said he also mentioned Mr. Toto Wolf that um, if if there's a, a possibility where a team other than you know Mercedes offers him uh, a full-time seat they will comfortably let him go like they will not create any drama. They, they will not create any tensions behind the scenes and obviously on the scenes. So it's just fantastic news for Mr. Schumacher. I just wish him the absolute best, um, you know, at his career with, you know, Mercedes and McLaren. And I just hope that we can see him soon uh, as a full-time pilot. So I wish the absolute best to Mr. Mick Schumacher and Mercedes and <laughs> and also McLaren now. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens and I'll see you guys on February 14th on the car launch and talk about the car and I just cannot wait on February 14th to see how the how this year's Ferrari and how the car will look like. So see you guys on February 14th and we'll talk about the car. We'll talk about every detail on the car and obviously we will have a car reveal. Ferrari will reveal their car for the season so I, I cannot wait i'm just so excited so see you guys then take care and peace out everyone